When you walk into a learning environment, the expectation is that it's going to be a sterile relationship, is that we're there to learn the content and you have a master individual deliver the content and you're supposed to get somewhere close to memorize it, enough to regurgitate it and then be done with it. Whereas in the academy, that, that learning environment becomes home and it becomes a way of life. It becomes the expectation of comfort and respect and care. Having the kids learning by doing something as opposed to thinking that me showing direct instruction is gonna be the thing that gets them to learn it. The, the learning by failure, and a lot of that comes from some of the activities that we've learned and we've gotten from, uh, from Meteor. Just giving the kids to try something on their own in groups so that they can collaborate and talk about things and learn from their mistakes from each other. Going through Meteor and working in Academy and doing this together has really allowed me and allowed us to offer our students the ability to create tangible learning that's like they're taking ownership of. The idea that you know you seed some of that control out and you have them start owning the learning process, right? It's crazy at first to think like, oh man, if I really let this go, like what's gonna happen? And no, it, it works. And seeing it work and seeing the results and the refinement of that result as we've continued to work with Meteor over the over these past years is is definitely an aha moment. Like now that you put the time in, you put the uh, um, energy into it and you just keep reassessing and it's amazing the results that you'll get. You want to create a classroom where you're going to have a conversation, right? And so when we talked about, well, what are, like, what are, furniture are we going to get and why? It, the why we were getting that furniture played a right. huge role in what we chose, like what it was going to be meant for. And I think with the new furniture especially, it's allowed for um, that shift where students don't have to necessarily sit in one desk and not move for 40 minutes. They're allowed to, to move around and collaborate with each other and the teacher's allowed to move around the room a little bit more than just standing at the front of the classroom. You can set up your lesson and start the first 10 minutes in one setting in the room and then have the students completely move it and change the way that the classroom is set up to complete the next task. And that changing of that furniture really changes their mindset. Having mobile furniture really like keys you into the setup of your room and how that affects the students' learning and how that affects your lesson and the flow and moving from one activity to the next. Um, we've been talking about black holes in our rooms yeah. where spaces that kids sort of gravitate to where it creates a distraction rather than group work. And so and what is the point of the way that this classroom is set up right now? Is that something that's positive to their learning or negative to their learning? And having furniture that moves, that you set up in group works, then move to a lab, move to direct instruction, it really makes you more attuned to your classroom setting and what it means to have a piece of furniture the way it is. You know, I think sometimes when you grow up in a hometown, your only goal is to get out of that hometown. Um, and I, I, I get scared sometimes that there becomes another here, unless you change your perspective on it. And my hope is that what we do in the academy is that we allow our students to see a different perspective on life and challenge themselves and it doesn't matter where you go because you can still take a piece of here with you and, and just keep pushing from there.